This video will cover the topic, Finding the Time to Reach a Limit in a Word Problem on Exponential Growth or Decay. A perfect example problem for this topic is in a compound interest function, written as a equals p times the quantity of 1 plus or minus r to the t, where a is the amount obtained, p is the principal amount invested, r is the rate, and t is the time the amount of time passed. If the interest is increasing, then it is written as 1 plus r. But if the interest is decreasing, then it is 1 minus r inside the parentheses. This information will usually be given in the problem. Let's try an example from Alex. A loan of $29,000 is made at 8.5% interest, compounded annually. After how many years will the amount due reach $95,000 or more? Use the calculator provided if necessary. Write the smallest possible whole number answer. In this problem, what is our principal amount? It appears to be $29,000 because that is the starting amount of money. Correct. Then how do we write the rate as a decimal? To convert a percent into a decimal, remove the decimal point to the left two places, right? Yes. So that makes our rate 0.085. Now in this problem, we are given our answer or our goal, so we need to solve for the variable t. We will write our equation as 29,000 times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.085 to the t is greater than or equal to 95,000. Because we are trying to find how many years t it will take for the final amount to be equal to or greater than 95,000. Our answer that we get for t will be the smallest possible whole number answer. All right. So should I divide both sides by 29,000 first? Yes, we'll divide both sides by 29,000. Leaving us with 1.085 to the t is greater than or equal to 3.2759. Now, do you remember how to use logarithms to solve exponential equations? Yes. I learned that in solving an exponential equation by using natural logarithms. I just take the natural log of both sides so then I can bring the t down. You're right. When we do that, we get t times natural log of 1.085, because when we multiply this by the natural log, the t comes down, is greater than or equal to natural log of 3.2759. Then we can divide both sides by a natural log of 1.085 to get t low on the left side. After doing that, we get t is greater than or equal to 14.545. We want to find the smallest possible whole number that satisfies this. So we can see that t equals 15 years is the smallest possible whole number answer. This means that it will take about 15 years for the loan's debt to reach $95,000. I sure hope this person will be able to pay everything off before that. Very interesting. Now I know how to apply logarithmic and exponential equations to real-life problems. In this case, I was able to use this knowledge to figure out interest values and amounts of time it takes for the value exponentially increase to a certain amount. 